The FIM-92 Stinger is a lightweight, shoulder-fired, man-portable air defense system, or in short, MANPAT, developed by the United States in the late 1970s. It was designed by General Dynamics and manufactured by Raytheon Missile Systems. The missile and launcher weigh around 15 kilograms, and each missile is a sealed unit weighing no more than 10 kilograms. It is intended to provide ground soldiers with a means of dealing with low-flying planes and helicopters. Low-flying enemy aircraft are typically a concern for soldiers on the ground since they are either bombing or strafing, conducting observation or inserting, withdrawing and resupplying hostile forces. The simplest method to eliminate the threat is to shoot down these aircraft. The handheld launcher unit consists of a launch tube, battery coolant unit BCU, separable grip stock assembly, sight assembly, and a separate identification friend or foe IFF interrogator. The battery coolant unit is responsible for the targeting system, missile powering, and cooling the infrared detector prior to launch. The soldiers fire the weapon by aiming the missile at the target. When the seeker finds its target, it emits a distinctive noise. And when the soldier pulls the trigger, two things occur. The missile is launched from the launch tube by a small launch rocket, and the launch engine falls away as the main solid rocket engine ignites. This rocket launches the Stinger at a speed of around 2,400 km per hour. The missile then autonomously flies to the target and explodes. The Stinger FIM-92 fire-and-forget missile uses a passive infrared seeker on its flying target. A passive infrared seeker emits no radiation that a target aircraft can detect and instead guides on the infrared energy emitted by the target. Because the Stinger uses a passive homing seeker, it is a fire-and-forget weapon that requires no operator direction after launching, as opposed to other missiles that follow the reflection of a designator beam, requiring the operator to retain a lock on the target. This enables a Stinger operator to rapidly seek cover, move, or attack additional targets after shooting a Stinger. The Warhead is a 3kg piercing hit-to-kill Warhead with a self-destruct timer and an impact fuse. The Warhead can be detonated by penetrating the target, striking the target, or destroying itself. Self-destruction occurs 15 to 19 seconds after launch. The Stinger missile has a range of around 5 miles or 8 kilometers and can attack targets flying as high as 11,500 feet or 3,500 meters. In general, this implies that if an aircraft is less than 2 miles up and discernible as a form, the Stinger is likely to hit it. Stinger missiles have a high degree of accuracy. Several countries declared in February 2022 that they would be supplying Stinger missiles to Ukrainian soldiers defending against the Russian invasion. Germany said that it would deliver 500 missiles. Lithuania and Latvia have transferred unknown quantities of Stinger missiles so far. Ukraine will get 200 Stinger missiles from the Netherlands, and the United States has approved the direct transfer of Stinger missiles to Ukraine for the first time as a part of a package approved by the White House on Friday. The exact time of arrival is unknown, but the authorities say that the United States is already working on logistics for the cargo. It is difficult to obtain conclusive evidence of the usage of Western equipment in combat, Videos of a hit on a stalled Russian tanks are spreading on social media. Ukraine has claimed to have shot down 29 Russian planes and 29 helicopters, as well as destroying 191 tanks. These estimates cannot be confirmed, but there is enough proof of combat damage to imply that contemporary Western weapons is assisting in the country's defense. With this, the buzz is signing off for today, but don't forget to hit that notification bell for more updates from the buzz.